Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so today's going to be an energy read, full Celtic cross for you. So just uh, clear your mind, uh, concentrate, think what you need to get out of this reading, and uh, uh, we're going to start it out be a full Celtic cross, and here we go. So this is one of my all-time favorite uh, decks. So this is the Smith Weight uh, Tarot deck, the Centennial Edition. And um, there's two boxes here, and I'll explain what happened. Is uh, when I was ordering uh, uh, this uh, deck, um, I think I think it was Amazon. I'm not 100% sure. But um, it wasn't clear that, that one of the things I was ordering was just a deck of cards, and the other thing I was ordering was a commemorative set. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about them separately. So the cards themselves are terrific. So these are, as you may have heard me say, if you've watched some of my videos and watched me use these cards, uh, these cards are the um, supposed to be the uh, most true to the original artwork of Pamela Coleman Smith. This is her initial, Pamela Coleman Smith. Uh, th these are the closest to her original artwork or interpretation that she and um, and uh, um, Waite uh, came to agreements on for the way they would be depicted. Before I turn these over, I'm going to tell you. So one of the things I love about cards is when you, there's something special you can use the cards for, a special way you can identify with the cards that's only secret to you. Maybe I shouldn't like that, but I do like that. For instance, uh, these cards, you can tell from the back of these cards whether they are upright or whether they are inverted before you flip them over. And here's how. In this uh, little um, flourish here, uh, it's almost a rose in a rose. It reminds me a little bit of the Tudor rose, but it's, it's not quite that. But uh, if you are looking at this card, the back of this card, and you see this little leaf is, is sort of pointing in front of this signature, then you know that this card, when you flip it over, is going to be upright. However, if you see that the leaf is pointing behind the signature, you know that this card is going to be inverted. So see, at quick glance, it's not very obvious to you. But once you look at it for a minute and you know that secret, now you know what's going to happen when you turn this card over. So let's use an example. This one is pointing um, before the signature, so we can see that this card is in the upright position. This one is pointing after the signature, and you can see that it's in the inverted position. So, so there you go. Now, the cards themselves are great. I mean, I love the coloring of the cards. They've got kind of a, a grayish, um, a brownish gray overtone, almost a misty, kind of a London fog kind of a feel to the overall. It's like someone painted the cards and then went back and did a treatment on them to make them look kind of... So I'm not, I don't know if that's how Pamela Coleman Smith uh, created the art. I haven't seen her original art for this, obviously. Um, I'm sure some people have. But um, but that's what's great about these cards. It kind of gives them a built-in patina. It's not real. You know, it's fake, but it still makes them nice and mystical. And so uh, that's what's interesting about these cards. Now, the uh, at first I was disappointed that I had ordered two um, sets of the same cards, but then um, I understood that it was a good thing. And I'll show you why that is. Okay, so now this is the commemorative set of the Pamela Coleman Smith uh, artist of the Rider Waite Tarot deck, uh, featuring the Smith Waite Tarot Centennial Edition deck, which is this. So uh, it comes in this amazing, amazing container. I mean, I can't even really call it a box. It's, it's like a beautiful showcasing a lifetime of artwork by Cam Pamela Coleman Smith. And um, so it's really cool. And wait till you see how it works. So you open this treasure chest up, and you've got this beautiful uh, finish here, and you've got wonderful little tabs where you can pull back the uh, the covers and see what's inside. And what is inside is a, a pack of the cards. Uh, and in truth, what's happened is um, these were the cards that were wrapped up inside this box, and uh, these cards uh, came in that box. But um, I got this first, and so I wanted to use the cards, and so I opened it up, 
and oh look at that and I don't like that this has to be tucked down in there so there's a couple things that aren't perfect but uh, so I took the cards out of here opened them up started using them and then the other cards came and I realized oh well I can make this a complete set if I put these in here what's in here of course you have the cards and uh, then you have a nice little bag uh, to keep them in if, uh, if that's how you're going to keep your cards and so many people do but uh, I've just chosen to try to leave these cards in kind of a pristine condition and then on this side is where all the treasure happens. The first thing you have is this booklet, The Artwork and Times of Pamela Coleman Smith, Artist of the Tarot, Tarot of the Rider Waite Tarot Deck by Stuart R. Kaplan and Lynn uh, Arjo, I suppose. So this is who wrote this book. In this book, it tells you all about, uh, you know, not all about, but it's, 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 it's a very good information about Pamela Coleman Smith. It's a lot of her art that's not related to tarot and explanations of how that art came to be. I mean, this is just a fascinating book, and I love it. I love it a lot. So there's that. The next thing that was in here, are, these are actually postcards, okay? So these are postcards, and all of these are the art of Pamela Coleman Smith. So, uh, and then this book talks about these postcards and why they come to be, and they all have a very interesting uh, story, So, which I won't go into now, but if you think you'd like to know, you should order these cards. So very interesting. Uh, stuff here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next thing you're going to get is you get some uh, larger pieces that uh, this is Pamela Coleman Smith, who I understand like to be called Pixie uh, as a nickname, and she's a lovely person. This um, is uh, someone that she knew, a, a stage uh, actress at the time, and um, and there's even a little uh, message down here. The, the name of this person is Mistress Page. And then you are a you are Mary, so am I. Ha ha, uh, Ellen Terry. So uh, I'm not sure now, but the, the book explains all of this to you. Then you get uh, this is an example of just some black and white work she done for for I don't know what it doesn't tell you on here, but it does tell you in the book. And then this is some more examples of what she might have done for playbills or uh, other way. You know, artists have to make a living, so they use their talent of making art to uh, sell and, and do other things. So love, love, love everything that came with this. And um, amazing. Now, the final thing, and I've, I've lost a little uh, ribbon, but also this uh, has a ribbon here that, that helps you pull everything out, which is so smart and so good. I don't know who thought of it first, but it's a great uh, use of that. And then you have here the actual uh, pictorial key to the tarot. So some of you may have seen me using uh, this book, which is the pictorial key to the tarot by weight. And uh, so this is just another uh, representation of that, but just in a different book. And it all comes in here. The one thing that you're missing here, I don't think the cards are in this book. No, the pictures of the cards uh, aren't in here, but it's terrific. Everything else is true to that first book. Uh, this one, however, which I bought separate from an uh, online bookstore, uh, does have uh, depictions of the cards in it, as you can see. So that's very useful. I use that all the time. So very handy to have. And then finally, like so many of these uh, decks, this gives you some uh, examples of some spreads you can use and how you might read them. And so everything, everything, everything about this, um, this package uh, is exactly um, the best that you'd want to get in a, in, a, in a gift. I've got, this is the one little misgiving here. Maybe I'll, I'll work on that later. But um, so nice. So that's been the tour of these cards. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, so we'll have this full Celtic cross for an energy read for you today. So just a little something to give you some clearance, uh, <laughs> some clearance, some clearance, some clarifiers as to um, how um, you can um, navigate the day today. You know, just a little, a little extra. Uh, something. It's like looking out the window to see what the weather's like. Well, this will be kind of like that. So, yeah, this is just going to be, you know, just like looking out the window or deciding what uh, shirt you're going to wear today. Uh, what's the weather like? This is going to be like that. Look at this reading as a little more information to hopefully uh, make this day a little bit smoother for you. Okay. We'll take six cards right off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 
the signifier card then is going to be the star. Okay, that's fantastic. That's a beautiful way to start your day, knowing that, um, that you are the star. You are in charge of what's going to happen to you, and everything that um, that pretends uh, from this this reading today is totally for your um, you know your insight, the harmony, um, you know, helping you to seek answers. So you are the star. Love that. The uh, challenge to that then is going to be the sun. Couldn't be better. So the sun is clarification. You know, it's illumination, it's celebration, and uh, revelations, enlightenment. So this is an amazing way for this energy read to start today. You've got the moon and the sun. You know, you've got night and day. You've got everything you need to, to make this work for you. Okay? So the, the base of this reading, then, is going to be the chariot. Okay, I, typically I want to tell you that the chariot is things coming on fast, but I want to tell you today that this is just getting things moving. You notice that these two sphinx have rested, and this fella is getting ready to uh, wake them up and, and move this, this situation on. In the past of this reading is the um, uh, seven, of, seven of Wands. You know, Wands are actions, motions, fire, planning, getting things going. And so this fella, you could say, just like you, is getting ready to start uh, his day. He's got all these these situations to deal with, and uh, and uh, and he has uh, what he needs to deal with them with. Perfect. Now the sky of this reading is the uh, King of Cups. The King of Cups uh, just reminds us that you know the the probably the best uh, ruler of a situation is someone who has considered all the emotions, all the passions that can be inflamed uh, in that uh, process. So King of Cups is where you want to shoot for to be knowledgeable of all the issues uh, that are uh, coming about, or at least to take a minute to uh, empathize with what's happening. And then the uh, likely outcome of this first part of this is the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is, uh, you know, the Page is bringing something to court to take action on. This is an emotional or a passionate situation, and there can be surprises in it. See this little fish trying to jump out? So th there can be surprises in your day. So just know that. Know ahead of time that uh, if something happens that you didn't expect to happen, now you can expect that it would have happened. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take out the last four cards uh, for this divination. This is the self. This is really you uh, right now in, 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 in lieu of all of this. Okay, so this is the uh, Nine of Cups. Someone who they typically call this fellow the greedy merchant, but this is a fellow who has collected all the trophies of his good labor, of his work. So if you take a moment to understand that you are in possession of everything you need uh, to move your your life on especially today you got it you've got this what's that in the environment of it's in the environment of an embattled uh, warrior okay so this again you know like I said ones are motion planning fire action and this fellow's a little beat up he's a little tired but um, it doesn't matter he's still standing he's got a plan to move forward with and he's got all these other plans uh, behind him and so um, that's what this is in the environment of. Understand, you might feel like you've, you've been through a lot, and oh my gosh, one more time. But yeah, you can do it, and you have to do it. And then the uh, hopes or the fears for this are justice. So justice tells us that, you know, think about what's honest, what's true, and what's right. And that's what's going to get you through this today. Use your inner uh, voice. And then the uh, final card for this reading is going to be the apprentice. Honing your skills practicing it over and over again, and making it something perfect for display to the world. You can do it. You've got this. This is your day. Own it. So yeah, you've got this. This is this is a very good read for you today. It started out with the signifier of the star, you know, uh, you are it, and with the challenge being the sun, shining light on everything. It's no challenge whatsoever. It just makes everything clearer. And um, uh, we end up with uh, you needing to realize you have everything that you need. To, to take care of any situation that comes across your path today. Just use good and fair judgment in doing that. Like anything else, you just have to hone your craft. Practice it makes perfect. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.